it's only morning in my world. You're probably not watching this in the morning. But you're also probably wondering, why does this look like a vlog? Why am I in my like living room, workout space, whatever? It's because this month, for my favorites video, I thought I would do like a little bit more of a vlog, I don't know why I'm doing this, lifestyle type video, because I was looking at like, what are my favorites from this month? And some of them are more lifestyle-y, so we're gonna do it this way. So I will be sitting at my desk where I normally film in some parts, and then also moving about the house. I hope you enjoy it. If you aren't subscribed, do so below. I'm trying to post more here. Well, no, I always post on YouTube, but trying to post more on TikTok, Instagram, basically do it all. I don't know how. I don't know how people do it all, but we're trying. All right, let's get going. All right, we're at the desk because I wanted to get ready for the day. And my like, the video today is gonna be a little bit of like, what are my favorites throughout the day? So this is where I get ready, even if I'm not filming. Not necessarily skincare. Skincare I do in my bathroom, but the light's not that great in there, so I'm doing it here. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna be using Exponent Beauty, what do they call this? Firming Filter CoQ10 Antioxidant Powder. So I have been using this not quite a month and I'm gonna be doing a dedicated video on it because I find it really intriguing and I want to see like the actual results in a few months, but I can't see the results, you know, quite yet. <laughs> Skincare takes a long time, but this is what I would do typically every morning. So I'm going to go through that. The first step is that you have to press, whoa, it doesn't work when you're not holding the bottom. So you press down on this portion. I don't know if you can see it. Press down, press down Dana. And then it's very hard to not like let it spill out. But basically the hyaluronic acid goes into that portion and then you take whatever your powder is and they have different powders so you can choose one that's like a retinol you can choose one for acne i chose this one because it's coq10 which is a great antioxidant it helps with firming helps with anti-wrinkles or like reducing the appearance of wrinkles i might try the retinol one next but anyway then you put it on the top and it kind of fits in you'll feel it and then you press down and turn clockwise until you hear that. That is when the powder has dispensed. And then you take it off, put the little top back on the powder, and then you mix it with your hand. So I know there are probably a lot of people out there who are like, oh, that's so an like anti, what's unsanitary, but it's not because there are preservatives in everything you use and preservatives are what help stave off bacteria. So you should definitely clean this little like area after you use it, but don't be like terrified. I mean, hopefully your hands aren't like dirty, filthy, grimy messes, but if they are, that's your fault. That's not the products. <laughs> so I just apply this all over my face. I don't have, like I've never had any stinging or irritation. It doesn't have a smell. It just kind of smells like skincare and CoQ10 actually has like, I don't know, in my opinion, like I use it when I, formulate it kind of has like its own scent but it's not anything like an actual scent <laughs> so just apply it all over your face and then that's your serum my under eyes are the area that i always focus on so i like i like to put a lot there Okay, so serum's on. You can let it sit for a little bit. It doesn't really matter. I haven't found it to be like problematic if it doesn't, if you don't have time. And the next step that I've been kind of obsessed with is this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. I love their the serum and then this one. I don't think you need both though. And it kind of depends on your skin type. I think the serum is really nice as well and it's like got this kind of thicker consistency but I actually think I might just kind of stick to this. I haven't repurchased the serum, and when this is out, because it's almost out, I might just repurchase this. I think, like I said, I think you can kind of go with one or the other, but it does give you a glow. Like, if you're looking for a glow, there's something about it, even though it's super lightweight and consistency, it does give you a glow. This was also a favorite already, so I've talked about it before, but I'll list it, of course, again. This is the In Beauty Face glaze and i like to just make a little concoction because i like to glow and this is my moisturizer it's kind of like a moisturizer a primer in one i should not have put these earrings on 
when I'm doing skincare. <laughs> so finish that up and then we'll go on. The next few products will come as no surprise if you've watched any of my other videos. This is the First Aid Beauty Retinol Eye Cream with Hyaluronic Acid. This is my third bottle. I've never purchased an eye cream this much. And I did want to mention it again because I've mentioned it many times. But it's not the kind that's going to like feel tingly and kind of de-puff, I guess. This one is used more, I would say, like longer term benefits. Like because it has a retinol and hyaluronic acid, it's actually going to help. And I have noticed that like my wrinkles under my eyes have not been as bad. And the dryness under my eyes has not been as bad. So, you know, sometimes you have to pick your battles if you struggle with like dark circles, puffiness, this is maybe not the one for you. I think it still would work, but I would say if you're more concerned with like fine lines, wrinkles, um, dry skin, this is the one. Like, this is where I get really bad wrinkles, but it has not gotten worse, so I consider that a win. Next up would be sunscreen. So I've basically been going back and forth between these two sunscreens. I'm almost out, I feel like of both. Today, well, let me just talk through. I've talked about both of them. This is Say Sun Visor. This is the new version. I'm not sure if they sell this on Sephora yet. So I will link the one from Say because that's where I got it. Sephora still had the old version and this one is like night and day different. So like don't get the old version. The new one's so much better. I wear this when I don't want to wear any foundation, skin tint, whatever. I'll use this concealer and that's it. It's a simple kind of glowy look and it basically works as a skin tint. It is in essence is skin tint. Today I want to wear a skin tint though, so I'm going to use the um, Summer Fridays Shade Drops. This stuff is amazing. Just incredible. Just incredible. So let's put that on. <laughs> the Don't ever wear dangle earrings when you're trying to get ready and you have no chill. <laughs> I'll finish applying this and then we'll go on to the next favorite. All right, makeup is on and it's time to get the rest of the way dressed. So today's Sunday when I'm filming this, but this is pretty much what I do during the week as well. I work from home. You can see everything. <laughs> I work from home, but I've made a pretty big priority this year of getting dressed. So my routine in the morning is that I wake up at like quarter to six. I go and work out at 6.30 at the F45 gym that I go to. And then I'm home by like 7.30, 7.45, shower, get ready, put on clothes, work. And I'm usually like at my desk by nine, if not sooner. But like I said, one of the big priorities this year is to get dressed because there have been times in my life where I will work out in the morning and I will sit in my workout gear and like sweaty hair, sweaty body all day. And while like it happens, it's life, like I don't mind it. I also just feel like I have all these clothes, I have all these things, I want to get ready as if I were going into the office. It makes me more productive, it makes me happier. Like, probably you guys understand if you work from home. So the next part of this is, okay, so this is kind of my, um, like my main shoe area. I have other shoes that are in here. You can't really see them, but there's like a hole. Let me, the light is broken in here, but Basically, I have boots there, other shoes, and then this whole thing of shoes. But I have found that if I keep these out, these are the ones that I reach to on pretty much a daily basis. I am a huge fan of Crocs, but I've decided it's time to elevate my game. So these are my workout shoes. These were from Amazon. I think I'm gonna get rid of them. They're a little these, if I'm wearing, like, if I'm going out, I wear, these are my super, Superga, why can't I talk? And then the ones I wanted to talk to you about are these, here they are. Okay, they just got dirty because they, everything has cat hair on them. But I'm gonna show you what they look like. These are from Vivaya. I have done a video on them before. Basically like the alternative to Rothy's. And I got two new pairs because I wanted something that I could use for work from home. So I'm gonna show you what they look like on. The first pair are these adorable, adorable loafers with a chia on them. They're so comfortable. They have made these shoes better recently. Let me show you. So this part in the back has been a recent improvement. It's basically like a cushion area, but it's very, very comfortable. Whereas before 
I don't think it had it and it was, you know, it could rub right there. Now I have no rubbing whatsoever. These are all washable like they always are. Like you can tell I've been wearing them, it's a little dirty. They're washable, they are sustainable, the packaging is sustainable. Everything about them is very similar to Rothy's but they are like half the price of them. And I have found that they have so many more styles, including these loafers, which haven't gotten as much use just because they're, you know, the fuzzies and it's been like 90, but I plan on wearing these much more once it gets cooler. These have been my go-to. So I'm going to show you what I look like right now. Ta-da! Okay. <laughs> this is a fun outfit. So I have like a normal shirt on. I actually have workout pants on just because I'm going to be doing a lot around the house and I wanted something comfortable, but these are the types of shoes that I would be wearing on a daily basis because they make me feel like I have my life together, but they're comfortable. So they're the perfect work from home shoes. I'm going to put you on the ground, show you what they look like on my foot. And these are the most adorable. Like, come on. So these are what the boxes or the shoes come in. They're pretty much standard, but they're recyclable. The shoes, I don't know if you know, but like I forget how many water, water, water bottles Rothy's takes, but for these, each pair of flats is six pairs of recycled water bottles that make up the shoe basically. So it's not only stylish, comfortable, but you're also helping the environment, which I freaking love so much. But also I, I really wanted to wear shoes again. I was just wearing my Crocs all day which I love, but I think that these styles are so much more, I guess, work from home friendly, but you can also find like shoes to wear out. So I kind of veered toward the side of Vivaya versus Rothy's recently. Like I haven't bought Rothy's in so long just because I felt too dressed up wearing like flats around the house. But anyway, I did want to share that I have a discount code for Vivaya and this is, I think my fourth or fifth or sixth pair. So I have been wearing them for maybe over a year now and really haven't looked back. I mean, I still like Rothy's, but I think Vivaya has more variety. So I will list the code. It's just 15DR, 15% 15 off. If you have any questions, um, sizing can be like a little tricky. I find that it is pretty true to size for other things, but for certain styles like the loafers, I always find that I have to size up just because like I don't want my foot hanging off and I don't know they don't go all the way in. So for those I size up maybe like a half size. For the black cheetah loafers I have a nine and a half which is pretty much my normal size. Sometimes with the the pointy toe even with the Rothy's I also size up a half size. So I would say either true to size or half a size up depending on your foot. If you know you typically size up a whole size go up a whole size but I would say they're pretty true to size. And just if you have any questions, let me know below. But we're gonna move on because I wanna show you really fun stuff that I use on a daily basis that again, is more like lifestyle. So this is my workspace. Don't mind the fan. It's because it's summer and like sometimes when I'm using this setup, I need a fan. But this is my standing desk. And this is what I wanted to show you guys. So let's take a look. I guess I should close my computer screen. It's not super organized, but it's not not organized. I've got some of my favorite glosses, this which charges my phone, watch, everything, um, my screen, computer, this stool. I guess I should mention this. I freaking love this stool. So this stool I got on Amazon and it you can turn it around so it can be like a little side table or I put it underneath my desk and I put my feet up on it. So yeah but I wanted to show you the standing desk more than anything. So, oh, look at this. I've like tripped it out. This, these are all the, my pens. I have one over here. This is just from Amazon. I will link all this. Oh my God. Do I have a problem? Don't answer that. Okay, back to the desk. So this is the portion of the desk and the leg. That's what I got from Amazon. This table is my husband's. He is a woodworker, he makes furniture. So this is a refurbished, I don't know what he used, but if you're ever interested in tables like that, just let me know because my husband sells and makes them. But he took this and he attached it down there. I don't, it's just right here. It's not that complicated. I mean, I could never do it, but he did it. 
and it makes my life so much better because all I do is it's going up now I have to stand all right I think this is the highest it gets so let me back up and show you now what it looks like so standing desks are incredible if you work anywhere but work from home this is a little high at the moment and I can just sit here stand here and do my work but the other portion of it is my treadmill so this is a portable treadmill from Amazon also now these were an investment like this was total maybe like the standing desk almost 200 and then that another like 200 but I'm here all day and my work also gives me a stipend so I want to show you I'm going to show you on this side what the the treadmill looks like you can do it like this when it's on the ground and you just go over here and then, whoa, and then there's a remote control and you can walk you can only go up to 2.5 when it's like this so you can turn this part up and now you have a treadmill that you can run on you can go more than 2.5 i keep this portion down because it's not going to fit under my desk maybe it will actually let me try oh guys it fit so now it's completely under and i can just walk on it but the thing about that is <laughs> it only goes up to 2.5 when the the arm thing is up or when it's down which is how i've been using it under the desk went higher i don't think i would be able to work so i'm probably just going to keep the arm down but it's good to know that it does actually fit under my desk when it's up <laughs> maybe i can start running and answering emails who knows so those are two work from home things that if you have the money if you're willing to invest a little bit i would highly recommend because it makes your life so much better sometimes i'm like i just walked three miles and i did work at the same time like love it and i have a few more things that i was going to mention but this plant stand also from amazon has been amazing it's not super high quality <laughs> like it's just wood but it's not like the most high quality i just think it looks really nice and you've got so many options for your little plants to sit, stand i also put the little cat bed there so when it's cooler i think aggie will sit there more but and then last up i wanted to go through three cleansers that i've been really enjoying lately i guess i'll go in order of how i use them so the first one is our all clean balm mandarin by hymish if you watched any of my other cleansing balm videos you know that i like this brand a lot it's one of the cheapest but largest amounts this one it smells very lightly of mandarin the only thing is i feel like it's a little thicker like the consistency is harder than their regular one but it could also be because the weather is cooler now so it doesn't melt as quickly but it just does the job beautifully like i don't mind if it's a little hard because once i rub it in it melts immediately i don't know these are so cheap and so good so i wanted to try the mandarin not super overly fragranced though then the next thing i use either after the cleansing balm or especially in the morning is this bliss makeup melt remover they call it dry wet gentle jelly i was kind of hoping that it would be an actual cleansing balm or oil it's not really it doesn't emulsify and come off like a milk but it is the most gentle cleanser that like in the morning if i have a face mask on overnight and i have like residue on my face sometimes washing with water doesn't do the trick and i need like some gentle cleanser but i don't want a foaming one i don't want to dry my skin out this is it it's also bliss which is a cheaper brand i think bliss puts lavender scents in a lot of their products so this one does smell like that I don't mind it but if you want just like a no frills one probably like the Cetaphil or the CeraVe are better but it kind of operates the same as that I just love the pump also and then the last one is the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion so this is a scrub and I'm looking at my other scrubs right now I have the Glossier Cleanser Concentrate which is not really it doesn't have any um, actual physical exfoliators and then the Naturium the Naturium one I'm almost done with I don't think I'm going to repurchase it's nice but there's something about it that like I kind of like go back and forth I'm like I like it but I don't like it but it's not terrible I just don't think I'll repurchase this one 
I've actually been really enjoying. It's one of the most like fine, finely milled, I guess. So really fine ones, not like chunky in a big way. It works really nicely on my skin, but I caution people with sensitive skin because it has like a menthol-y cooling feeling. And I think if you have sensitive skin that like gets red really quickly, irritates really quickly, um, this is probably not the one for you. But if you have more like hardy skin, it, it works really well. I just don't know why they put that menthol in because it just feels like a cooling thing. Like it doesn't feel like long-term effectiveness. But I do like the fact that the beads are so small, if you will. <laughs> Still not better than my own that I make, but hey, that's neither here nor there. So these are the three that I've kind of been going to a lot recently. Although I only use this once or twice a week. I don't use it that often. So anyway, that's the end of the video. We'll end in my bathroom. <laughs> and I hope you kind of enjoyed this like different, different version of a favorites. I just think it's a little bit more fun. That doesn't mean I won't go back to the normal filming studio for filming favorites, but I wanted to show you the desk primarily and the shoes because those are things that I've just been wearing nonstop or using nonstop. So if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.